Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Falling for Books. For today's video I'm talking about all of my favorite books from 2017. So these books are not necessarily all books that came out in 2017 but they are my favorite that I read in 2017. So I read a total of 263 books and I have about like 69 favorites. I really like I think I had it like 75 and I kept like lowering it like really trying to cut down the books that like weren't my favorites so I just have an excessive amount of favorite books every year I just love pretty much everything I read so so I will do kind of honorable mentions which will be most of the books and then I have like a top 10 that I'll briefly talk more about I will also link my Goodreads list that I made of 2017 favorites down below so you can check out all of the books on the list. So I will first start with all of the honorable mentions and they're in no particular order. Damage Like Us by Kristen Becker Ritchie, this I gave 5 out of 5 stars. Lovers Like Us by Kristen Becker Ritchie, this I gave 4 out of 5 stars. Infini by Kristen Becker Ritchie, this I gave 5 out of 5 stars. The Struggle by Jennifer L. Armitrout, this I gave 4 out of 5. What I Need by Jay Daniels, this I gave 4 to 5. Until Sage by Aurora Rose Reynolds, this I also gave 4 to 5. The Hot Shot by Kristen Kalian, this I gave 4 to 5 stars. Sacked by Jen Frederick, this I also gave 4 to 5 stars. Drop Blocked by Jen Frederick, this I gave 4 to 5 stars. And then Played by Jen Frederick, this I also gave 4 to 5 stars. Roman by Sarah Bennett. Lucas by Sawyer Bennett and Van by Sawyer Bennett, I gave them all four to five stars. Undeclared by Juliana Keys, this I also gave four to five stars. The Studying Hours by Serenade, this I gave four to five stars. The Failing Hours by Serenade, I also gave four to five stars. Black Hearts and Dirty Souls, both by Karina Hale, and I each gave them four to five stars. Mr. Moneybags by V. Kaland and Penelope Ward, four to five. Stars over Castle Hill by Samantha Young, 4 to 5. The Fox and the Hounds by R.S. Gray, 4 to 5. Craving Lily by Nicole Jacqueline, 4 to 5 stars. I'm In It by Tammy Faulkner, this I gave 4 to 5 stars. Blush for Me by Kristen Proby, 4 to 5 stars. As well as The Beauty of Us, also 4 to 5 stars. Taking Shots, Trying to Score, Empty Net, and Blue Lines, all by Tony Alio, and these I also all gave four to five stars. Bountiful by Serena Bowen, four to five stars. Imagine Me by Fiona Cole, four to five stars. Follow by Tessa Bailey, four to five stars. Body Check by Al Kennedy, four to five stars. Good Boy and Stay by Serena Bowen and Al Kennedy, and I gave these both four to five stars. Dirty Filthy Rich Men and Dirty Filthy Rich Love by Laura Lynn Page. I each gave these four out of five stars. Love Story by Lauren Lane. I gave four to five stars. Walk of Shame by Lauren Lane, four to five stars. I Knew You Were Trouble by Lauren Lane, also four to five stars. Wardrobe Malfunction by Samantha Towell, four to five. Under Her by Samantha Towell, four to five. Unintended by Georgia Cates, also four to five stars. Sweet Torment by Georgia Cates, also four to five stars. The Adjustment by Suzanne Young, four to five stars. Beautiful Broken Girls by Kim Savage, four to five stars. The Roman by Sylvain Renard, four to five. Dear Agony by Georgia Cates, four to five stars. The Forbidden by Jody Ellen Malpaz, four to five stars. Roomies by Christina Lauren, four to five stars. Bad Blood by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, five out of five stars. Blood Vow by J.R. Ward, five out of five stars. The Ends of the World by Maggie Hall, four to five stars. The Stars Never Rise by Rachel Vincent, four to five stars. Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare, five out of five stars. After the Game by Abby Glines, four to five stars. Rebel by Amy Tintera, four to five stars. Every Heart a Doorway by Shannon McGuire, four to five stars. And then the last honorable mention is When It's Real by Erin Watt, which I also gave four out of five stars. Now I have my top 10 books of 2017. These are not really in any particular order. Um, they were just probably the ones that stood out to me the most, but in general, this whole list that I named, I could not stop thinking about. I loved them all. They were so great. I had such a good reading year, regardless of how many books I read. I read way more in 2016, but 
this year I had such great books that I read. So the first one is Undone by Kat Clark. I really love this book. This was a bargain book and I think I got it for like five dollars or something. It was so good, so intense, so emotional and I just really loved it. It's probably not a book I'd reread but it was so impactful and it was just a very interesting story. I really enjoyed it. And this I ended up giving five out of five stars. Next was Beard in Mind by Penny Reed. This is book four, I think, in the Winston Brothers series. This I gave four to five stars, but really, really loved it. And I just really enjoy all of Penny Reed's books. So I feel like at least one of her books is always going to be on my favorites of the year. I just love her writing. I love her characters. They're always so different. And she always takes books in different directions. And I just really enjoyed this one. It was sweet and also very mode like not motivating but very makes you like want to do good stuff it makes i don't know probably not making any sense then i have pipe dreams by serena bowen this book was just terrific i give this four to five stars really loved it i serena bowen is becoming one of my favorite authors of all time i just love her books and her hockey books are so great and I loved it. It was fantastic. A Walk in the Sun by Michelle Zink. This I gave four to five stars, but I just loved it so much. I cried. I just, it, this book is so meaningful to me. I grew up on a farm. This book takes place on a farm. It's about a girl who her mother passes away and she kind of has to take care of the farm because her dad is basically mourning. He's kind of useless. And it's her just dealing with the farm and trying to have her own independence and figure out what she wants to do with her own life. And um, a cute boy comes in the picture, you know. This was just so great. I grew up on a farm and kind of when I was like 12 years, what was I 12? I think I was 12. The farm just kind of, it didn't really fall apart, but my childhood pretty much ended. And so I... Whenever I think of the farm and my childhood, it's just, I have the fondest memories and it makes me like super emotional because I loved growing up on a farm. It was the best thing in the entire world and I wish I could go back to when I was a little kid and just running around barefoot <laughs> and just not having a care in the world. And um, yeah, so this book, I just emotionally tie with that and it just, oh, it's so perfect. I loved it. Head Over Heels by Jennifer Dawson. This I gave four to five stars. Really liked it. I got it as an ARC from Neck Alley and then immediately had to purchase my own copy because I loved it. Um, the romance was so interesting and entertaining and it was just terrific. A great romance book. Pucked Off by Helena Hunting. I feel like I've talked about this book so much. I just absolutely loved it. I love hockey romances and this one was just so great. I think Lance and Poppy were amazing characters and I feel like this is definitely my favorite in the series. I believe I gave this four to five stars. I think, I can't remember, but I just absolutely loved it. So definitely a favorite from 2017. Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. This is such an obvious favorite for me. I've talked about this many times, but this book was so shocking and thrillery and it was just so entertaining and different and it was just so interesting and I loved it. I, it also reminded me so much of one of my favorite TV shows, Fringe. So I was just getting like vibes the whole time and I was totally into it. Definitely, definitely a great book. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This book blew me away. Um, it was so emotional and just beautiful and interesting. I feel like I've seen the same words for each book but this was such a different book and I think it was really well done and the story was told really well. It was just such a beautiful book and I cried and I just, I really loved it. The Learning Hours by Sarah Nay. I loved this. I did not expect to love this that much, but I gave this five out of five stars. I was just sucked in. I loved the characters. It was kind of a different new adult book because I feel like a lot of times the guy I think he's like the hot shot but in this book it was definitely the girl who thought she was you know pretty and um, the guy just didn't have any experience with girls and it was so great. I loved it. I 
kind of want to reread it. I read, I reread some parts, but like, I feel like I need to reread the book. But I loved it so much. It's literally my top two favorite book of the year. And then probably my favorite of the year, maybe. Um, it's really tied with the learning hours, but that is Racer by Katie Evans. This was terrific. All right, sorry, my camera died. So if I'm at a weird angle or I look different, it's because I had to charge my camera. Anyways, I just loved this book. I was so worried when Katie announced that she would be writing about Brooke and Remy's kid. And I just, I was worried that it wasn't gonna be good because I've been kind of disappointed in her books lately. I still love her books, but they haven't been like top notch for me. But this one just blew me away. I absolutely loved it and definitely, a top favorite of 2017. So those were all of my favorite books of 2017. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was probably super long and I'm very sorry, but I read a lot of great books and I love a lot of books. I can't help it. Let me know what your favorite book of 2017 was down in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, follow me on all my other social media, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.